Designing and launching applications has never been easier than it is now using agentic tools and vibe coding platforms. But one of the problems that remains is the simple connection to data and tool sets that you might wanna use for your application. Wanna create an app that connects to your Notion database? It's hard to do. Wanna grab content information analytics from YouTube? Tough. Wanna aggregate data from GitHub, Google Calendar, Gmail, Discord, or Dropbox? Good luck. But now that problem is a thing of the past because Replit has just released their new connectors feature, which allows you to connect and integrate with a slew of everyday tools that you and I know and love. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Replit connectors to integrate into all of your favorite tools to make your applications even more powerful. I'm on my Replit dashboard. You can see this is the place where I would start building a new application, prompting it into existence, or maybe accessing my old applications here in the sidebar. But now in the sidebar, we have a new tab. This is the integrations tab. When I click on that, it shows me a slew of connectors that have already been created and provided by Replit that I can just sign into, connect. And then basically I have plugged into that. I've opened that pipeline for that service. It's now available to me in any and all the applications I build from here on out. You can see I've already connected Asana, Notion, and YouTube, but you you can connect even more here, like Discord, Dropbox, GitHub, the entire G Suite, HubSpot, Linear, even things like Spotify and Twilio. This is going to change the game because now you don't just create data-driven applications using a database and something that's built here or connected to Superbase, whatever it is. Now I can actually pull content in from these other connected services and make these powerhouse platforms that are all mine. There's a couple different ways that you can implement these. One of them is just here on the integrations tab, choose a service like Dropbox, for instance, sign in, and we'll go through that authorization process and flow to actually allow access or that connection in between Replit and the service. There's no API key creation, secret key creation, developer stuff that you need to do. I've simply activated it, connected, and now inside of my projects, I can call on Dropbox and have it read files, content, and metadata specifically for my applications. That's just one way you can do it. Another way is if you are already building an application. So for instance, I was building this multitask application. Now this application that I've created is really a combination combination of tasks that I store from Asana and Notion. You can see here, I can refresh those tasks. It's gonna fetch all of the tasks for me from those two platforms. I use one for client work, another one for content creation. It's nice to have one place to view it all. So I created it in just a couple of minutes. Down here, we can kind of sort things out by due date or the types of projects they're in, or even by those two platforms. But maybe, just maybe, I wanna connect my Google Calendar into this application. So I don't just see tasks, but I also see appointments and calendar dates that I need to get to. It's really simple. All I have to do is come down to my prompt box and place my prompt that says something like, connect to Google Calendar and add an upcoming meeting section to my app. I'm gonna press go. Notice here that it says searching Replit's integrations for Google Calendar. It has found it and it's asking me now to connect Google Calendar. I'm gonna give it access to all of those different areas of my calendar, reading, writing, grabbing everything, and now it's successfully connected. Replit has finished doing its work and notice that it's added this new upcoming meetings row. I can click that, load my meetings, and it shows me meetings in the next seven days and I can see exactly the details from them. I can open those up over in Google Calendar. I can close this up so I don't have to see it, but I also get that sync functionality back and forth between anything that's happening here in my app and those other connected or integrated applications. So for instance, when I have this uh, task list down here, I could drop down and find a project find your flavor quiz audit. You can see over in Asana, that one is not checked as done. I can click here and it's going to write that information and immediately check that off over in Asana. So we have two-way sync. We have all of that aggregation. I've created one dashboard space that I can continue to evolve and work on and make it my own. This is just one more reason why I love Replit. I think it's one of my favorite vibe coding platforms of all time. But if that wasn't enough, I just realized that Replit has a mobile app. And so I was actually able to do some of this work using the mobile app. I'm just emulating it here on my laptop. But you can see I have access to all the same functionality here. I can 
prompt things into existence. I can work with my databases and publish my application. I can even open up any of the tools like assistant or app storage or authorization. I can look at the database structures here directly on my mobile application which is pretty cool. So the fact that there's a mobile app and you can just do this while you're sitting at a coffee shop on your phone, kind of amazing. Well, that's it. That's the new connectors feature by Replit, which allows you to build more than just database driven AI applications, but instead tap into these powerful platforms and integrations to supercharge your applications instead. They have dozens of connectors already built into Replit, but let me know which integrations would you like to see? Maybe a certain service or platform that you want to tap into? Let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, do lots of content about design development and agentic AI tools like Replit. So make sure you ring that bell so you know when more content comes out. With all that being said, we'll see you in the next one, Design Champs. Take care.